Watch out, she spits. Hi guys, it's Monday and I'm starting a new vlog week. Sniffies, can you say hello? Can you say hello? She's like, uh, no. How about the bean? What's the bean up to? Bean, bean. Bean, bean. Okay, we just got back home from getting my micro needling done. So the cats are a little angry. When we leave them for a little while, they always are a little bit, mm, when we get home, like they wanna be around us, but they don't really wanna be friendly. So right now, I just actually filmed a little check-in for my micro needling video, showing you guys the progression of that. If you haven't seen that video, I will definitely link it down below, basically showing me getting a micro needling and what that entailed, how it went, my results, my thoughts, all that good stuff. Minnas, you wanna say hi? Minnas always good for little kids, so good. Silly Wally, hi. I'll kiss too, Sally kisses. Thank you. How about the ball? <laughs> this Milani package was like Fort Knox. I don't know what I did. I think I just like cut down the middle of a box. So a little set that I ordered came with this bag. This is definitely my favorite color in that because you guys know I love the pink stuff. These three things came as a set. It was a little bag. It was their new Prep and Brighten Rose Oil. And it came with this little blush trio. You guys know I love their blushes and I use them in a lot of videos. So it's a rose powder blush trio. And then I also picked up their new Camellia Oil. So I've heard really good things about these so far. So these are their two new oils, the Rose and Camellia. The Camellia is soothing and the Rose is brightening and I can't wait to try these out. I'm definitely gonna wait a couple of days and let my skin get back to normal, but I did wanna show you guys what I got from Milani. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, it is now Thursday. It's about five o'clock and I just got home. If I looked tired, it's because I am. I, don't, I can't even talk right now. But um, my face now, like to give you guys a little update, um, if you watch my micro needling, my face is now starting to peel a little bit. So if you see that like area right there, it's just peeling where we were a little bit more aggressive there. I'm missing exfoliation in my life, but I'm trying to go kind of easy and let it do its own thing for a little bit. I did use a very gentle enzymatic exfoliator, um, the Bosha one, but it was kind of weird. It like almost clung to the skin but like the skin wasn't ready to come off so i had to like gently kind of make sure and i'm like okay enzymatic is very gentle but it's like the product itself wanted to like cling so i'm just taking it easy i am able to wear makeup but i've been wearing like skin tint so today i have on the lancome skin tint which looks pretty good except for the peeling areas it's just not sticking so i thought i'd show you a couple little things that i picked up i didn't go crazy like this is literally like everything that i've bought in like the last week like the whole week since monday this is all i've gotten so i picked up just a couple of things at sephora i really wanted to get this sugar fina cube they're little peach hearts they're so cute i kind of want to like do something and make a picture with some of these like i don't know i think it could be really cute i just don't know what i want to take a picture with yet maybe some of my Too faced peach goodies because i love their um, I love the Peach Perfect line. I think everything I've tried has been really good. So that's a good idea. I think I'm going to do that. Maybe that'll be one of my projects for tonight. So I got that with my purchase and I just picked up two of the new sheet masks. So they have um, several like new products from Sephora Collection. I got a coconut nourishing and soothing. So I'm probably going to do that one soon um, once a little bit more of this dead skin wants to go away. And then I got the pineapple, which is pore perfecting and smoothing that I will use a little later. I just, I love pineapple. Like I could drink straight pineapple juice all day long and be like happy as a little clam. So I really like the idea of that. I also picked up some House of Lashes glue. I've always used Duo glue, and you guys know I don't always do lashes. It's not like a staple in my routine, um, but I do want to wear them more, and I feel like Duo glue just really wasn't cutting it for me. Like my little inner corners were always wanting to pop up and stuff, so I got some House of Lashes, just the um, white to clear glue. Sometimes I like to wear my lashes without heavy liner, so I like the option of not using black glue. And then I got the Lily Lashes for Sephora collection, and this is the big day lash so they're really pretty but they're also kind of like soft and wispy at the same time um, even though 
pretty much all of her lashes are going to be a bit dra more dramatic for me personally um but these are really pretty so that way you can see them a little bit better i think they're really pretty sunday's going to be a busy day because i need to film a couple of videos things that i am oh god i'm sorry i'm like throwing the camera around i need to film a couple of videos and um a couple of things i'm like behind on and i feel bad um so i'm gonna get some videos done i'm gonna show you guys how i put in my hair extensions um i've got some really fun things to try from a new brand called iris beauty so i will definitely be doing that and um yeah i think i think those i'll film those both on sunday and that way i have videos for the rest of the week that i can be editing and uploading for you guys i literally have two tiny things to show you now so if you saw my bh cosmetics video um i did bh cosmetics versus milani the eye toppers and their uh eye lights are the waterproof eye colors I mistakenly sent two of the same kind and i did not receive this color at all and this color is called gnarly and it's really pretty so i wanted to throw this in a vlog and show you guys and i'm so glad that i contacted them to get this replacement um they just sent me the one like no big deal and i'm gonna swatch it for you guys because i i feel like i missed out on like the best one in the video which is sad so that's what it looks like look how gorgeous that is I feel like I really missed out by not putting that one in the video. So that was a little disappointing that that got messed up, but I got it now and it is gorgeous. So perhaps I will do an eye look featuring both of these things. I also follow on Instagram, a girl named Fallberry. It's just F-A-L-L Berry. And she posts like deals, like makeup deals. And sometimes it's like how you can get like a freebie, like a sample or something like that. Saw one pop up and for some reason I just like, oh, I went and did it. And it was showing the Sephora collection like rouge cream lip stain. And what they wound up sending me was this, which is the rouge cream, just a little bitty lipstick. This would be like a hundred point reward basically. And it's in R49 belly dancing. I'm not going to swatch this because I will just throw this in a little goodie bag for you guys. So that's like a deep, rich red right there. And I'm not going to swatch it because, like I said, I'm just going to put these in like one of those little sample goodie bag things as like a bonus for one of my giveaways upcoming. I don't need any more reds personally. Um, I have a lot and I don't wear them as much as I used to. So I need to wear them more, but I don't need to add another one to my collection. So... I'll just throw this in with some other stuff. Can you say, Minners, can you say, we'll talk to you later? Say, we'll talk to you later. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Mm. She's just laid down. Yeah, she just did. Uh, I don't know. Did that just make it in there? Yeah. <laughs> she bounced like a bunny on that. Hey guys, it's Friday. I am home from work. I really liked my eye look today. I used the Kat Von D Satan Center palette. I also did a little bath and body work shopping, but I'm gonna save that for a video because I got some really cute summary things. See what the kitties are doing. Mina! Mina! Hi, Mina. Huh? Okay. Bean, what are you doing? What are you doing, Bean? So I basically just worked and then came home. We already ate dinner and I am going to spend a few hours editing, hopefully finishing <laughs> my um, micro needling video and hopefully that will go up tonight. Uh, worst case scenario, it will go up tomorrow, which will be Saturday and you guys will see it maybe before this vlog or maybe not. I said blog, vlog. I really like my eyebrows today too. So 
at any rate, it's um, not a lot going on tonight, but I just wanted to say hi and check in and tell you guys I'll have a Bath and Body Works haul coming up soon. And other than that, I'm just going to be editing. I might have a little wine and I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Sunday. I look awful, so I'm wearing sunglasses. I look like dog turds. Um, but we are going to do some errands. Supposedly it's 89. 89. Feels like 189. And so weeks worth of storms. Joy. Seven, seven days of storming. So anyway, we're on our way and I will take you guys with us. Look at the cactus pajamas. It's hot, so it's going to be good. Look at that. And this is only 20. And look at these. We're now in Target and look at this. He's amazing. Hello, Gleaming. Hi. Hi, Gleaming. Can you smell him? Wow. Pretty kitty. <gasps> yeah. What's Sally doing? Sally. Hi. Oh, it's so pretty. Ah. <laughs> Mm. Ah. Oh. Oh. Why are you trying to get them? No. No. Ah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Watch out, she spits. What is that sound? Ah. It's like her war cry. <laughs> Be nice. Mr. Minas. Mr. Minas. Mina kisses. You're such a salty butt. Come here. Do you want to say hi? Yeah. Hey guys, it's Sunday night and I am about to get ready to edit and upload this vlog. So I want to show you guys. I got some things from Bath and Body Works, but I'm going to do a haul. I also need to really, really clean up. I got a bunch of things from TJ Maxx. And, and, first of all, for this wine and we actually went grocery shopping which I'm notoriously bad at and we got real foods so yeah that was good I definitely recommend going to Aldi because I think I spend way way less there than other places lots of tomatoes I also forgot to show you guys there was a really good deal on L'Occitane's website I don't know if it's still active but you should definitely follow Fallberry on Instagram it's just at Fallberry I'll put it on the screen um, but she posts like really great ways to save money or like get something for free or next to free so basically I spent five dollars on this almond soap which a if you've never tried this it's very good but it was like five bucks and then you paid a few dollars for shipping and I got this set for free so it's actually got shampoo the body oil and then a new moisturizer which I haven't tried. I got samples from their Immortal line which I actually love and it's a little bit pricey but I would love to get some of this in the future because I really love their products. But I basically spent $10 and got all of this so I thought it was a good deal. So I'm about to get ready and edit this and upload it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this vlog. If you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well not intended rhyme and i will see you guys in my next week's vlog bye